coach go to Stanford. Cal's so dumb. I mean, I'm not saying that I think Wilcox is a bad coach, but. I don't think they're. this. That's what I figured. I heard it go off on the test. Is it unmuted now? That's why. Yeah, we're good. You can mute it again. Thank you.
It's time for St. Mary's Basketball on the Gales Radio Network. Inside to the corner for Dukas, his three, got it! Johnson blocks the shot! LJ is everywhere right now. Bowen's open, lets a three fly, it's good! Big shot for Kyle Bowen! Welcome to the University Credit Union pregame show. University Credit Union, the official credit union of St. Mary's College Athletics. Visit ucu.org to learn more. Live courtside, here's Alex Jensen. On a Wednesday night from Moraga, it's time for St. Mary's basketball as the Gales return home for a matchup with New Mexico State out of the WAC after a, uh, a big win in Phoenix on Saturday. And welcome to Moraga, California, ladies and gentlemen. Alongside Dave Lewis, I'm Alex Jensen. Glad to have you with us on this Wednesday as St. Mary's prepares for another non-conference battle in New Mexico State out of the WAC coming to town, Dave. And really, over the last decade, you can't find many programs that have won more games than these two. This schedule is really good. And for New Mexico State, they've been the gold standard in the WAC. In fact, you can kind of pen them in as the preseason favorites. They lost five starters off last year's team, including a big-time scorer in Teddy Allen, but they reload. They're one of the top teams, mid-majors in the country, and a major challenge. A chance to get a big win for them on the road. Gales are coming off a big win. And on a neutral floor over the Mountain West favorite, San Diego State Aztecs, a team that has given the Gales problems over the last few years and few matchups. But St. Mary's found a way, Dave, and they were able to crack the Aztecs defense that has plagued them over the last few years. You know, statistically, it wasn't a great game when you look at the shooting and minus three rebounding, but halftime, even score, win by seven in the second half, doing the little things. you got to win ugly sometimes. You're going to go on the road in the conference play. So a great tune-up and a resume-building win. On the other side for New Mexico State, this is game three of a long three-game road trip. They were out here about a week ago to, to uh, take on Santa Clara in the South Bay. They then went to Pittsburgh and picked up a big win over a pretty good Duquesne team on the road. And now New Mexico State is looking to cap this road trip with a win over perhaps their toughest competition to date. Yeah, this one would be for them when they come into the game 79 in the net. And their schedule doesn't give them many opportunities to really boost it on the road before league play. So a great chance tonight for the Aggies. Great chance tonight for both teams as the Gales look for their third consecutive win. New Mexico State, as I mentioned, is looking to end this three-game road trip with a win. Again, over the best team they've played so far this year. When we continue along with our pregame show, Mickey McConnell joins us for the pregame coaches show. After that, we'll have starting lineups and the tip from Moraga. Glad you're with us on this Wednesday. Basketball is up right around the corner. You're listening to St. Mary's Basketball from Learfield. Show your school spirit and earn rewards as the official credit union of St. Mary's College, University Credit Union offers a custom-designed rewards credit card for the Gale family. Enjoy no annual fee while earning unlimited points, making the UCU St. Mary's credit card the perfect card to use for everyday use. Plus, when you open a UCU checking account, you'll show even more Gale pride with the St. Mary's College debit card. Visit ucu.org to learn more and apply today. Federally insured by NCUA. Walnut Creek offers Gales fans quick and easy access to the excitement of a vibrant city and the charm of hometown California, all in one central location. Only seven miles from campus, Walnut Creek Hotels are the official lodging partners for St. Mary's. In a sunny, upscale and comfortable environment at the base of Mount Diablo, Walnut Creek brings together an eclectic collection of culture, award-winning shopping, hotels, sports facilities, and cuisine to make you smile at every turn. Go to visitwalnutcreek.org to explore your next adventure. Hey Gales fans, if you love attending live sporting events and concerts, then be sure to check out Tickets for Less. At ticketsforless.com, you'll find the best selection of tickets to all your favorite events, and you never pay steep per ticket service fees like you do on other sites. Whether you're looking to see your Gales or are planning a trip to see a big event in the city, ticketsforless.com should always be your first stop for tickets. Ticketsforless.com, proud partner of St. Mary's Athletics and live event goers everywhere. This is St. Mary's Basketball on the Gales Radio Network. With tip-off just minutes away, time to get the pregame thoughts of associate head coach Mickey McConnell. With coach, here's Alex Jensen. Continuing to get you ready for basketball on this Wednesday night as the Gales return home for a quick two games here in Moraga, first starting with New Mexico State, and it's time for our pregame coaches show. 
Joined by associate head coach Mickey McConnell. Well, obviously, Mick, I mean, you're coming off your, your biggest win of the year on the neutral floor against the top 25 team, a, a program that's given you some trouble over the last uh, few matchups and couple of years. But as we talked about last time we were in this building, it seems like your young guys are getting older, and, and it just feels like not just for your resume, but for the growth of your club, this was a big game to compete in and come out on top. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. I mean, they've gotten the best of us the past couple of times we've played them. Um, and they're a good, good program. They're one of the best programs on the West and in the country. So it's always nice to get a, a win against them. They're, you know, historically a very tough, physical, good defensive team. So whenever you're able to, you know, match that and, and outplay a team like that, it, it it's good. It's a good growth experience for your guys. And it's, uh, We've talked about a lot with our young guys. I mean, they've gotten opportunities to play in some of these games that are it's just invaluable. The experience they're getting, they're playing against old, mature guards and in bigs, and they're having to produce um, at an at an early stage. So, just these reps are, you know, they're invaluable for these guys, and and for even for the the Saxon and um, Augustus and Chris Howell and Luke Barrett and those guys too. It's they haven't played in in games like this and had this big of a role. So for Saxon to you know play 32 minutes and a game like this last year, he barely played against them um, a year before. So um, it's just all around, it's been a, a great experience. I thought that we we uh, grew a lot in this last game, um, offensively, defensively, and kind of just as a unit. You know, you look at your, your box score as well, and, you know, Mitchell Saxon takes just six shots. He's got six points. But you have so it just seems like right now your offense isn't a good place where you have so many other places to go. Logan Johnson, double figures. Aiden Mahaney. You know, Sack my point is Mitchell Saxon has six points on six shots, and you still score over a point per possession against one of the better defensive clubs uh, in the country, uh, and especially historically. What does that say about where your club is offensively right now? Yeah, I mean, I think our guys are, you know, they're doing a good job of kind of creating their identity, um, and they're becoming more aware of where certain guys want the ball and what their strengths are and not forcing it too much and just knowing that, the more we share it, the more unselfish we are, the the better that everyone will play. And, you know, it's a luxury having a guy like Saxon inside that you can throw it to and he can he can score for you. But we have a lot of different options and a lot of ways to attack you. And when Logan's playing well, it, it gives us a really high octane attack in the rim. And then Aiden and Dukas have been, have been good there as well. So um, those guys obviously get a lot of the attention offensively. But, you know, those, those bench guys are coming along. You know, I, I thought... Perry gave us good minutes just because of his size and his strength. And um, Augustus has been playing well. He's, he scored it efficiently. And um, so I, we have a lot of ways to attack. And I think our guys are just more cognizant of how we want to play and, and, and moving the ball and not forcing it too much. And it's really helped us out. I mean, you see it in the in the turnover numbers the past couple of games. You know, the more controlled we play, the more disciplined we are, the better we've looked on offense. Of course, it all comes back to what you do defensively, and, and San Diego State really hurt you on the offensive glass early. Your guys made the adjustment. That wasn't really an issue over the last 30 minutes or so of the game. I mean, as always, it's kind of your defense that's setting the tone, no matter how well you play offensively, I would say. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think that's kind of been our, our team's identity the past couple of years, and it's, you know, we have we have good defensive personnel, but they're really, they're really disciplined on playing defense in the scout and they take a lot of pride in getting stops so our our offense really feeds off our defense and um our defense has carried us a lot so in games like that where in the second half you can you can hold them to 33 percent it's it's a nice luxury to have and then your offense is coming along so defensively yeah it's got to keep being what we do and keep taking um opponents out of, of out of what their strengths are and i th think our guys have been uh yeah, they just put a lot of effort into it, and they're mature that way. And it's a lot of it's our, our leadership. You know, you have two elite defensive players in Kyle Bowen and Logan Johnson that are, you know, two of the three leaders on your team. So I think that helps. You know, that that's the identity that's been created, and um, it, it really it really takes the pressure off yourselves offensively when you can get stops. We've mentioned this before. I mean, we're not in the business of moral victories, but it really seems like your your team took something away from that second half, especially against Houston, albeit in a loss, uh, you know, uh, second half where you really kind of outplayed for long stretches the number one team in the country. What do you think your team took away from that second 20 minutes in Fort Worth, and how have they been able to build on that over the last couple of ball games? Yeah, I mean, I think with all these games, obviously you don't want to – you don't want to lose, but there's something to, to learn from wins, losses, and, and all that. So I, I thought that game, it really, 
you felt a, a change in, in the intensity of, of our guys, um, young guys and, and old, older guys. You know, I think last year we played with that chip of being 14 and 10 the year before for the whole season. We had some success um, last year, had a great year. So I, I, I just, you could feel a little bit of, you know, those young guys figuring out, okay, this is what it's like. You want to play in these games, you got to be tough, you got to be physical. You know, it's not as much about the X's and O's as, as it is doing your job every time and being tough and uh, being a great teammate and staying together when things go bad. And I, I think as a staff, as a team, we, we felt that collectively after that game. And obviously, we would have wanted a better result. But I think we've been able to build on that um, since then. And you saw it in the past two games, Missouri State definitely, and then San Diego State on the neutral. It's another one of those games, and I thought our guys did a great job from the start of um, they were they came out ready to play. You know, it wasn't one of those wait for the first media to say, "Oh, wow, this is this is intense." Like they were they were ready to go uh, at the start against San Diego State. You know, when it comes to winning basketball games, not many programs in the country have been better than New Mexico State over the last. 10, 15 years you replace Marvin Menzies with Chris Jans and now uh, Greg Heyer and a brand new cast of Aggies and yet New Mexico State is you know lost by just one at Santa Clara beat San Diego at a neutral and they're coming off a pretty good win over Duquesne it seems like with this program the faces may change the results don't but with this group of Aggies what do you see when you look at them on film yeah they have you know they have a lot of talent. They it starts with you know their their point guard Pinson who uh, transferred from LSU, but he's a really really high level point guard. You can shoot it, and he's a really good passer. So he he's the one that you know it stands out as far as he can do a lot to hurt you. And then they they play a lot of a lot off of uh, Deshondre Washington as well. And he's kind of the, he's he's a tough cover because he's big he's a big guard he's about six seven and they put the ball in his hands a lot and he can make plays so I think he's their leading scorer and pro I think he gets the most assists as well so um like a typical New Mexico State team they have a lot of talent they're they're athletic they play hard um they're aggressive on defense aggressive on offense um but yeah I mean over I don't know last 10 15 years is one of the best best programs um in the country if you look at just straight win loss and they've won their league I don't know how many times they're always in the NCAA tournament so it's uh it's going to be a, a tough one tonight they've they've had a history of, of success and um, they're used to winning so we'll have to be really dialed in time now for tonight's keys to the game brought to you as always by Bay Alarm with a range of home and business security options Bay Alarm can protect it all with just one call St. Mary's New Mexico State first of a quick two game homestand back here in Moraga before the holidays Mickey the floor is yours yeah, I mean, just like always, it's, it's take care of the ball. Um, I say it every game, but it feels like every team we've played this year forces 14, 15, 16 turnovers a game. So it's been a, it's been good for our guys. It's a challenge, but we'll have to do a really good job of taking care of the ball. They play steals. They're aggressive. They, uh, they'll, they'll try to pop balls loose in the post. So if we can hang on to it, I think we can get great shots, and, and it'll keep them out of transition. They want to get up and down. They um, I think they thrive off of the transition, the easy bucket. So if we can keep them out of that and, and keep them in the half court, it, it'll be a good start. And then I think we, I think we have a size advantage on them. We can need to try to smash them on the boards. Don't give them second chances on the boards. And then we have to really impose our will, use our size, use our physicality inside, um, and try to dominate on the offense and glass. All right, there you have it, Mick. Appreciate your time. Best of luck tonight. We'll talk to you after the ball game. Sounds good. Thanks. All right, that's Mickey McConnell with your pregame coaches show before the Gales take on New Mexico State on this Wednesday night. Starting lineups in the opening tip are coming up next, and you're listening to Gales Basketball from Learfield. Bay Alarm is proud to sponsor the St. Mary's Gales. How good is your defense? When it comes to protecting your home or business, Bay Alarm has been bringing the best for over 75 years. With security camera and fire alarm systems designed to fit your specific needs, expertly installed and professionally monitored 24-7. Ready to up your security game? Go to BayAlarm.com and let our team of security experts get you protected today. Go Gales! Out here, we charge into the heartland with Mountain Dew. Out here, there's no rush hour, just the rush of flying wide open on glassy water at 5 a.m. with your first dew in hand. And there's no spin class, just bright green spinner bait that ironically matches your second dew. Out here, we don't just play big buck hunt, we hunt actual big bucks. 
And out here, the best road is off-road, and the color of your truck is mud. Out here, it's dew. Since 1990, the team at Common Interest Management has been privileged to serve boards of directors and community homeowners of many of the Bay Area's most prestigious communities. Whether working with a newly established community in the earliest stages of development or a more mature community, our experienced managers consult with the board to share best practices in all areas of community management. Common Interest tailors its services for communities of all sizes. If you are currently evaluating a new management company, please visit us at commoninterest.com. You're listening to St. Mary's Basketball on the Gales Radio Network. It's time for St. Mary's Basketball. Rises up, floats it up, and in, and one. Gets in the paint, right to the rim. Oh, man, he throws it down. Gales Basketball is brought to you by Pepsi. Delicious, refreshing Pepsi by Under Armour. We'll keep building the gear. You'll keep getting better. And by Diablo Valley Insurance. Owned and run by Gales. Go to DiabloValleyInsurance.com today to request a quote. James at home with the right hand. Oh, my. This place has been electric tonight. It's time for tip-off. Back courtside, here's Alex Jensen. Well, quite the national anthem here on a Wednesday night at University Credit Union Pavilion as St. Mary's prepares to do battle with uh, New Mexico State. And uh, Dave, I think that's the only violin rendition of a national anthem we'll see all season long. That kid did a great job <laughs> You're moving. You know, I mean, not to you know get on any of the singers, we just hear singing all the time. We don't hear an instrument like that. That was beautiful. Well, it's St. Mary's, New Mexico State on this Wednesday night at University Credit Union Pavilion, and Dave the Gales are coming off. I don't think you can understate it. It's a, it was a huge win over San Diego State. You've been on, on Saturday. cloud nine. You've been bouncing around the last couple of days. After I think we all like have. That. I know. Well, you, you have a chance. You're going to get some credit just for playing that game. We talked about that before with the strength of schedule. But when you get some of those wins like that, it's huge. Didn't play their best, but did enough in the key moments to get the win. New Mexico State, five and three. As I mentioned, they are coming off a big win on the road at Duquesne. Before we get to the starters, let's get to the Gales intro video. You know, Dave, we obviously mentioned the San Diego State win for the Gales, but New Mexico State's coming off a big win of their own. They jumped over 120 spots in the net after their win at Duquesne, who was 7-2 and two after a one-point loss at Santa Clara. This is a team in New Mexico State that's got to be feeling pretty good about themselves. Yeah, this year, they're picked thir uh, second in the whack behind Grand Canyon, really because there's such an unknown quantity with the five new players, new coaching staff, but there's some talent there. Three keep guys in there that have been there the entire game. A couple of guards from Chicago. They're big time scorers. They're athletic. They get out and move it. 
should be a fun game to watch, a contrast in styles. Even though they don't have a lot of guys back, Dave, there's a lot of guys on this roster who know how to win. Greg Heyer in his first year at New Mexico State won a national title at Northwest Florida State College a year ago in Division I of NC NJCAA. A lot of the guys on this New Mexico State roster played for him in Niceville, Florida. Yeah, Issa Muhammad won. DeShondre Washington having a big year. They've got championship experience. I mean, I was a coach, you like guys like that. Not just talented, but guys who are good, but guys who have won. And that's going to set the tone, lay the foundation for the program moving forward. Let's get to our starting lineups, and they're brought to you by University Credit Union, the official credit union of St. Mary's College. Visit ucu.org to join today. First for the Aggies at five and three, mentioned under first year head coach Greg Heyer. He takes over for Chris Jans, who he played for in junior college. Chris Jans now over at Mississippi State, the uh, three-time WAC coach of the year Jans was, and Greg Heyer off to a five and three start. And the head of the snake, Xavier Pinson, 6'2", senior guard out of Chicago, as you mentioned, Dave, transfer from LSU, star starter at point for the Tigers a year ago. He joins the Aggies, averaging 13 points, five assists per game. Also in the backcourt, a tough matchup at 6'7", junior out of Chicago, Deshondre Washington leads the Aggies in scoring, rebounding, and assists, 13 and a half, 8.1, and five and a half assists per ball game. And they are joined in the backcourt back by uh, Dejuan Kwaye Gordon. It goes by Kwaye Gordon, 6'3", 195, a junior out of Chicago. Went to Kansas State, then Missouri, now here at New Mexico State. In the front court for the Aggies, where Mickey McConnell told us in our pregame show, felt St. Mary's would have an advantage. 6'8", redshirt senior James Beck, 6'9", redshirt junior Issa Muhammad. AJ, four guys average in double figures in this team. A fifth averages over nine, so you can't take away just one guy and expect that to be enough. On the other side for the Gales, it's uh, Aiden Mahaney, Logan Johnson, the backcourt, Dukas and Bowen at the wings, and Mitchell Saxon downstairs for the Gales, who are in the white as we are underway on this Wednesday night here in Moraga. And Kyle Bowen will start off on Deshandre Washington with the Aggies wearing the crimson, blue numerals, and white trim. First of a quick two-game home stand for the Gales. Here's Pinson, guarded by Johnson, no surprise. Running hook with the left hand doesn't go. Saxon with the board for the Gales. That's a tough shot over a very elite defender. Now Logan Johnson has really been flexing his muscles in that regard over the last couple of games. Had a great job against uh, Darion Trammell of San Diego State and Phoenix as Alex Dukas gets the Gales off to a good start less than a minute in. Like to get the post touch early, but when he rotated the basketball, Dukas alone right in that shooting pocket for an open three. And just to finish that point, Darion Trammell, the leading scorer for the Aggies, went, or for the uh, Aztecs rather, went three for 11 on Saturday with LJ drawing the assignment. Step back three for Washington is true, a tough shot. And that's gonna be another matchup we're watching on that end of the floor, Dave. Washington against Kyle Bowen. Kyle, a big time defender. I think the coaching staff would like a little more offensive production, but he does so many little things to help you win. Aggies are very good from three. They're also very good defending the three. Is LJ a little too tall for Bowen on the near side? The Aggies, they're allowing opponents, Dave, to shoot just 26% from the arc, and in their own right, nearly 38% that defending the three number, 10th best in America. Gales are six and one here at home, 30 and two since the start of 2019 in the non-conference here at University Credit Union Pavilion. Pinson across the lane, knocked away, picked up by Muhammad, he'll score, he is fouled, he'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. While the finish was impressive, just going down there to dig the ball out around his ankles and get it was just as good as the shot. Issa Muhammad to the line, 6'9", 240. Redshirt junior out of Atlanta. Played for uh, Coach Hire at Northwest Florida State. Free throw on the way, no good. And the rebound cleared by Bowen. That foul was on KB. His first, of course, the first on St. Mary's. In New Mexico State, five straight. They have a 5-3 lead. Expect to see St. Mary's make a concerted effort to get the ball inside. Tend to shoot. Dukas run off the line this time, probing, traveled. Good call, you saw it before Darren White did. Great job by New Mexico State scrambling defensively with the Gales trying to get into the post. The great help side D and scrambling, very active athletic group. 
Aggies force nearly 15 turnovers a game. And normally for St. Mary's, when they hold on to the basketball, they are very good in their wins, less than 10 turnovers per contest, 16 turnovers per game in their three losses. Washington at 6-7 probing. Runner off glass, no good, and that's a big rebound in traffic for Mitchell Saxon. Kyle, a tremendous job moving his feet there defensively. KB has fouled out of two games this year, Dave. That'll be something to watch tonight. He fouled out of the Gales last game against San Diego State. St. Mary's is able to win anyway. Bowen's open. Hits a three. Shot that one with confidence. He also fouled out in the New Mexico game, and that was a huge fifth foul with about seven minutes to go. You mentioned something to me, Dave, before we came on air tonight. You want to see Kyle Bowen be a little bit more aggressive offensively. Sometimes passes up shots that I think he can take and make. Such a team guy, but he can help them a little more with a couple points. He's now 10 of 21 on the year from three. So Gales back on top. Muhammad guarded by Saxon. Running hook, tough shot, in and out. Gales want this game in the half court. New Mexico State wants to turn this into a track meet. First post touch for Saxon. Dukas off the catch. Bowen can't corral the rebound. And in order to have that tempo go their way, rebounding will be always critical. Gales had a tough time with San Diego State on the offensive glass early on Saturday. Aztecs ended up with 12 offensive boards. And in the first half had a 9-0 advantage in second chance points, Dave. But Gales did a great job on that down the stretch in the second half. Just four points on second chance opportunities for San Diego State in the second half. Falling over there is Kwaye Gordon. Three on three as Johnson will find Dukas through traffic. And Dukas cans another three. That's a great find. Logan Johnson seeing the floor so well. And Duke is spotting up, finding his sweet spot. All three of the Gales' field goals have come from deep. 9-5 St. Mary's. Pinson controlling point. Another way to limit transition, Dave, is if the other team's taking the ball out of the basket. Eight to shoot. Beck. Washington. As Dukas on a switch. Good move. Couldn't finish. Good defense by Dukas to stay grounded. Aggies wanted a foul and got nothing. Yeah, but I think if Alex left his feet, you may have seen a whistle. Mahaney double teamed. Gather a handoff. Good pass to Saxon. And Mitch able to finish. Aiden looking away to create that opening and finding the entry pass. It really seems like he is growing with his ability to make plays for others, and it's happening quickly for the freshman. I mean, he's only playing in his 12th college game. Now, that's a play, Dave, I'm not sure he would have been able to make at the beginning of the season. Beginning of the season, he only scored 25 against Oral Roberts. In that's true. First game. Yeah. Washington got caught in no man's land. Ends up out of bounds. I believe it'll be back with St. Mary's with 14 for now. They'll keep it with New Mexico State. 14-45 to play in the opening half. Gales have started four of five. They have an 11-5 lead on New Mexico State. And you're listening to St. Mary's basketball from Learfield. Panini's Ristorante has been delivering quality food and beverages to the Moraga area for years and is a proud hometown partner of St. Mary's College Athletics. Casual dining with the whole family or an adult night out, they have you covered. Visit them at 1375 Morago Way for a wonderful experience. Panini's Restaurante. Diablo Valley Insurance Agency is a full-service independent insurance brokerage located in Walnut Creek. Founded in 1956, our agency has been providing insurance services to clients throughout Northern California and the Western United States for over 50 years. Our team of insurance professionals will take the time to understand your needs, whether personal or related to your business, and provide the best products and services for you. Go to DiabloValleyInsurance.com today to request a quote. Diablo Valley Insurance Agency, local, independent, trusted. 
Show your school spirit and earn rewards as the official credit union of St. Mary's College, University Credit Union offers a custom-designed rewards credit card for the Gale family. Enjoy no annual fee while earning unlimited points, making the UCU St. Mary's credit card the perfect card to use for everyday use. Plus, when you open a UCU checking account, you'll show even more Gale pride with the St. Mary's College debit card. Visit ucu.org to learn more and apply today. Federally insured by NCUA. This is Alex Dukas, and you're listening to the Gales Basketball. Alex Dukas has six of the Gale 11 points. St. Mary's out to an 11-5 lead. They are four of five from the field. And Dave Lewis, they're doing it from the inside. They're doing it from the outside, showcasing the depth offensively we've seen over their last two games. And when they can knock down that outside shot, it'll open things up for Saxon on the inside. Marcellus Avery, 6'8 sophomore to Richmond, Virginia, checks in for the Aggies as they'll have the ball on the baseline. Avery on the catch. Kyle Feit is also on the floor. Pinson way out there at the end of the shot clock is off the heel of the rim. And Mahaney grabs the board. The Aggies have started two of seven. Coach Heyer not liking that look after a timeout forced to get a cast off deep three. Here's Mahaney. Tried to skip it. Washington steps in the passing lane. An opportunity for the Aggies to push the tempo. Good transition defense there from St. Mary's. Avery. Six minutes in. 11-5 St. Mary's lead. Gales have turned it over three times. Eight to shoot. Avery across the lane. Fall away. Got the bounce. Well, they really earned it on that possession. St. Mary's with a sensational 28 seconds of defense. That snaps an 8-0 St. Mary's run as Mahaney advances. Starting five still on the floor for the Gales, who are four of five from the field. Dukas offline on a three. Saxon with the putback. Using that height and size and maybe that left forearm to get some separation. Washington looking for early offense. Sends it out to Avery. Pinball's out of three. Another possession, one and done. Johnson. Mahaney for three. Yes. Timeout, New Mexico State. Perfectly done by Johnson. Sized up his opponent, Dave. He's so quick with that first step. The help came from the corner. LJ found the shooter. Have not been super consistent this early season from three-point range. Last time out, 6 of 18 against San Diego State, but coming out on fire tonight. Four of the five Gales who have seen the floor so far have scored. The only one that hasn't is Johnson. He has three assists. Yeah, not getting the points, but making it happen for his teammates. He's had a great opening seven minutes. You know, Mickey McConnell, if you listen to our pregame show, I, you know, he mentioned that this team really kind of found their swagger again in the second half of that Houston game. Even though the Gales didn't win, they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the number one team. They came back from a 12-point deficit, and they've really played, Dave, with a, a purpose over the last three games. That Houston game, it was a one, two possession game in that last minute or so. And even though they didn't shoot it great, turn it over too much, Houston only had five turnovers, had a shot to take out number one. Marshall Lonis checks in for the first time for St. Mary's, replacing Mahaney. Issa Muhammad back into the ball game for the Aggies. Pinson looking low and a foul away from the basketball as Muhammad was rolling to the basket. And if this is on Kyle Bowen, it is. That is number two on KB. And I mean, you look at this, Dave, and Bowen has fouled out of two of the last four games now. How concerning is that if you're Randy Bennett? I think it's big time, and I'll see what happens here. Right now, Coach Bennett's leaving him out there. I would be inclined to take him out with that second foul. Gordon returns, and Washington comes off. It's the only two fouls on St. Mary's. Aggies are three of nine. Gordon open for three. Can't find the range, and Marshall Lonis with the board. Aggies have not gotten great looks on their baseline out of bounds. A lot of deep threes. Saxon trying to back down. Aggies converge. Johnson double teamed. Dukas dribbles it off his foot. Nine to shoot. Bowen with a post touch. Bowen backing down. Bowen tried to go across the paint. Deflected and stolen. Fourth St. Mary's turnover. 
Right on cue, Dave. Joshua Jefferson winning at the scorer's table. Fight pushes off, steps back. Three is short, and Marshallonis scrambles for the rebound. Because if you're New Mexico State, you'd want to go right at Kyle Bowen and try to get that third foul. Yeah, I would. I mean, you know, Kyle Bowen is normally one of the Gale leaders in plus minus. Ten to shoot. Dukas enters to Saxon. Back around the perimeter. Bowen with five to shoot. Bowen probing. Floater up and good. There you go. Aggressiveness pays off. Yeah, jump hook over that left shoulder. Little pass up on that previous possession with the interior pass. That time, very aggressive. He's two for two so far. And, you know, maybe a look, Dave, he would have passed up a couple weeks ago. Muhammad, tough shot. Good job by Kyle, keeping his feet down, avoiding that third. Washington waiting to get the scores table for the Aggies. Gales have an 11-point lead. LJ, Marshallone has passed up the open three. He's got it back. He'll take it this time. Muhammad with the rebound, ran into his own teammate as Gordon comes away grabbing his left shoulder. Aggies are 3 of 12 from the field. St. Mary's doing a great job of defending the ball screen. Pinson. Until there. Although great athletic ability by Pinson, who turned the corner, has that great extension and can reach with the right hand. Pinson, again, I mean, he was a starter in the SEC at point a year ago. Preseason all whack as a newcomer with the Aggies. Marshallonis is tripped on his way to the bucket. And a foul is called, and that will take us to a stoppage. And Marshallonis jogging back to the St. Mary's bench after a little slow getting up. Time out on the floor here in Moraga. 10.27 to play in the opening half. Gales have started 7 of 10. They lead New Mexico State 18 to 9. We'll step aside. You're listening to Gales Basketball from Learfield. Fourth Floor Tap Room and Grill in Orendo's Theater Square is now your official away game watch party location for St. Mary's Athletics. Enjoy apps, salads, burgers, or one of their signature handcrafted wood-fired pizzas on the patio with the giant fire pit. Plus, they offer discounts for all St. Mary's students, coaches, faculty, and alumni. Catch every game on one of their 10 big screen TVs or enjoy live music Thursday through Saturday evenings from 6.30 to 10.30. You can even have them cater your next event. For more information, visit thefourthboard.com or call 925-254-1183. Go Gales! Walnut Creek offers Gales fans quick and easy access to the excitement of a vibrant city and the charm of hometown California, all in one central location. Only seven miles from campus, Walnut Creek Hotels are the official lodging partners for St. Mary's. In a sunny, upscale, and comfortable environment at the base of Mount Diablo, Walnut Creek brings together an eclectic collection of culture, award-winning shopping, hotels, sports facilities, and cuisine to make you smile at every turn. Go to visitwalnutcreek.org to explore your next adventure. My name's Tony Tornado. I write and star in my own shows and movies. My crew knows that I dream of Hollywood. They also know that I love Mountain Dew. But there's so much more they don't know. Sometimes at night, I look up at the stars and think, I know why Mountain Dew's so crucial to my existence. But does anybody else? See, Dew's the green gold circulating through my veins. It makes Tony Tornado believe that he can do anything. So now you know my secret. But there's so much more you don't know. Do the do. This is Mitchell Saxon. More Gales basketball is on the way. Welcome back to Moraga alongside Dave Lewis. I'm Alex Jensen. And Dave St. Mary's has controlled this thing early. They lead New Mexico State 18 to 9 after the second media timeout. What do you see? Well, the number that jumps off the stat sheet, the rebounding, 11-2 Gales, including 10 defensive rebounds, one and done for New Mexico State. Joshua Jefferson will check in for Kyle Bowen, who's out with two fouls. So Marshallonis, Johnson. Dukas, Jefferson, and Saxon. And Marshallonis will trigger from the baseline with 10 and a half minutes to go. Saxon has it poked away by Washington and out of bounds to the New Mexico State bench. The Gales will keep it on the far sideline. For the Aggies, Pinson is joined by Gordon, Washington, Muhammad, and Marcellus Avery. 18 9 St. Mary's. The Gales are 7 of 10 from the field. Dukas topside looking low for Saxon. Eight to shoot, LJ, good pass. Saxon trying to go to the other side of the glass. 
Blocked by the Aggies. Pins in and trying to go coast to coast. Blocked by LJ. Marshall Onis doesn't have numbers. Finds the trailing Dukas for three. Well, he's playing with a lot of confidence tonight, Alex. Looking for his shot. Very aggressive. That's his third triple already. It was the MVP of the Jerry Colangelo Classic at the Footprint Center in Phoenix with 17 points against the Aztecs. He's got nine already. Muhammad runs into a brick wall as Saxon defends the post. His floater is no good. Gales clear another defensive rebound. No second shot so far for New Mexico State. Just one for the game. Dukas, Jefferson wide open, didn't want the three. Drives instead, gets the cup. He gives them a different dimension at the four because of his length and athleticism. The Gales love his offensive potential. I mean, you, you watch Joshua Jefferson play, Dave. There is a feel, you know, a high IQ. He knows how to play the game. Good defense by Saxon there on the driving Pinson. He watches court vision from the four position. It really, as you mentioned, brings a different element to the St. Mar to the Gales on the floor. Big time winner. I mean, he was the difference maker in that state title victory over Bishop Gorman. Dukas is wide open. Not this time. Jefferson crashing the glass has it deflect off his fingertip. Aggies with the board. He dodged a bullet because that's a wide open look for Dukas. That's the best look he's had all night. Avery. Maybe a little out of control getting to the basket. And a timeout is going to be taken by Randy Bennett here. 32nd. And I believe that will take us to a full. 8.25 to play in the opening half here in Moraga on this Wednesday night in a matchup of two of the best mid-major programs in the country. The Gales are controlling this one through the first 11 plus minutes. St. Mary's 23, New Mexico State 9. We'll step aside, you're listening to Gales Basketball from Learfield. Diablo Valley Insurance Agency is a full service independent insurance brokerage located in Walnut Creek. Founded in 1956, our agency has been providing insurance services to clients throughout Northern California and the Western United States for over 50 years the time to understand your needs, whether personal or related to your business, and provide the best products and services for you. Go to DiabloValleyInsurance.com today to request a quote. Diablo Valley Insurance Agency. Local, independent, trusted. Panini's Ristorante has been delivering quality food and beverages to the Moraga area for years and is a proud hometown partner of St. Mary's College Athletics. Casual dining with the whole family or an adult night out they have you covered. Visit them at 1375 Moraga Way for a wonderful experience. Panini's Restaurante. Since 1990, the team at Common Interest Management has been privileged to serve boards of directors and community homeowners of many of the Bay Area's most prestigious communities. Whether working with a newly established community in the earliest stages of development or a more mature community, our experienced managers consult with the board to share best practices in all areas of community management. Common Interest tailors its services for communities of all sizes. If you are currently evaluating a new management company, please visit us at commoninterest.com. This is St. Mary's Basketball on the Gales Radio Network. Welcome back to Moraga alongside Dave Lewis. I'm Alex Jensen. Glad to have you with us on this Wednesday night where the Gales have controlled, Dave, the opening 11 and a half minutes of this ballgame. They're 9 of 14 from the field. They're out rebounding New Mexico State 15 to 4, holding the Aggies to just 4 of 17. And I misspoke. I gave them one offensive rebound. They've got none so far. So four total rebounds, none offensive. One and done for the Aggies. Harry Wessels checks in for St. Mary's out of the timeout. Jefferson, Wessels, Johnson, Marshallonis, and Dukas. Dukas turns it over. Just lost the dribble. Aggies have a three on two. Good close out there by Johnson on the shooter. Fight is nearly 40% from three. AJ, that's the one glitch so far. Five turnovers for St. Mary's. Washington, a lot of dribbling. Gets the finish, tough shot. How about this so far, Alex? No assist either for New Mexico State. They're getting everything off the bounce. But a lot of one-on-one -on, -one on the other side for St. Mary's. They've got six assists on nine field goals. Jefferson hands off Marshallonis, knocked away, recovers, finds Joshua in the corner. Three is off the back rim. 
So a younger group on the floor right now for the Gales. Washington on Marshallonis. Swissel travel called on Washington. Looked like he may have been tied up. Good help defense there by Jefferson. Forced the turnover. And Coach Bennett at the other end noticed a New Mexico State player basically whipping his leg out towards Augustus, saying, hey, you got to watch for that. That's dangerous. Jefferson didn't want the three in the corner. Marshallonis sees a seam, Euro step. Ten to shoot, Johnson is open, three comes up short. Still like giving up that good shot for a better shot, making the extra pass. Gordon with a drive, a foul called on LJ. 6.55 to play, it's been pretty whistle free first half so far. That's just the third foul on St. Mary's, the fourth in this game so far. And this is the kind of team that can make you foul without aggressive they are in driving to the basket. Well, the athleticism, as you mentioned, it's been a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. Box set for the Aggies. Reserve big man, Shakuru Odunawu is in the ball game for New Mexico State. Gordon travels. Third turnover on the Aggies. Again, pick to finish second in the WAC this year behind Grand Canyon. Here's Mahaney replacing Johnson. St. Mary's leads by a dozen. Grand Canyon, they've had their struggle. They, they lost at home against LMU. Also fell in the second game, the Jerry Colangelo Classic in Phoenix on Saturday. Losing to North Texas by two. Marshallona straight away. Gales haven't scored in nearly three minutes as Washington looks to push the tempo. 23-11, the St. Mary's lead. Washington checked by Dukas. Up top, Gordon working on Mahaney. Just making you grind for everything so far. Tough shot, Gordon in traffic, and a foul is going to be called from the far side. As Tony Padilla says, Harry Wessels committed a blocking foul. I will send Gordon to the line for two shots. This is a team that averages 79 coming off a 73-point effort last time out. So far, only 11. Kwaye Gordon, the guy going to the line right now, he was a big reason the Aggies were able to get the win in Pittsburgh. His first double-double uh, as an Aggie, 10 points, 11 boards against the Dukes. Native of Chicago, it's his first free throw. Bowen and Saxon will return, and so does Johnson. Marshallonis, Jefferson, Wessels come off. Gordon was really big defensively in that Duquesne game, holding Dede Grant to a two for 14 shooting effort. Over 11 points per game over his last six. Started his career at Kansas State. Only freshman to play in all 32 games in the 1920 season for the Wildcats, then ended up at Missouri before heading to Las Cruces. Four in a row for the Aggies, and the Gale lead is now 10. Starting five back on the floor for the Gales. Mahaney probing. Post touch for Saxon and a foul is going to be called. Odunawu defending the post. That's just the second foul on New Mexico State. And the first on the redshirt freshman. Gales are able to get some different looks rather than just relying on throw it to the post and playing everything off of Saxon. A lot of guys chipping in tonight. Saxon hands off to Mahaney. 20 back on the shot clock for the Gales, leading by 10. Inside of six minutes to play in the opening half. 11 to shoot, Saxon double teamed. Dribbles to the corner, skips for Dukas. Good pass, and Dukas cashes in. Well, he's been money tonight, and for Saxon, they want to take him with that diagonal pass. He went all the way to the corner. It was a perfect delivery. Here's the lob for Muhammad. Good find from Pinson. That's the first assist for the Aggies. And Pinson, he averages over five a game. Good play there for New Mexico State. Bowen didn't want the open three. The Hills are still shooting 56%. Mahaney with the change of pace, gets to the rim. So calm and poised in there. You said the other day when we saw him, hey, they're giving me some different looks out there. That means I must be doing something right. 
You can see, I mean, as the season's gone along, Dave, there has been more and more defensive attention paid to Aiden Mahaney. He's seeing more opposing defenders, or multiple opposing defenders, on more trips down the floor now. He's got it pushing the tempo. Aggies back on defense. The lead is 13. Saxon, they're going to clear out the side for him. Finds LJ straight away. Another St. Mary's triple. Seventh of the first half. Seven of 14 from three. The Gales have opened up now a 16 point lead. Gordon muscling his way downstairs. Saxon came over to help change the shot. Deflection lands with Mahaney. Aiden wants to push. Good pass to LJ. A little bit behind him, and Johnson wisely circles back out. Inside of four minutes to play in the opening half. Hills are shooting 60%. This tempo has been all St. Mary's half court game. LJ has Muhammad on a switch. Past the corner, Dukas another one. That one too strong. Kind of behind the backboard that time. Shot that one like there was one second on the clock rather than seven seconds. Now, traditionally, Dave, if you really have intentions as Washington hits a step back, Jay, if your intention is to make a game against the Gales, especially in this building, a track meet, it really doesn't work out in that way. And as I say that, here's a run out for Gordon, who is fouled by Johnson, and Gordon will go to the line with 3.13 to go. But it really doesn't work out that way for many teams who want to make this a high possession game. Got to do your job on the glass and turn St. Mary's over. And that only happened during that little losing streak. 3.13 to play in the opening half. Free throws for Gordon coming up. We return to action here in Moraga. St. Mary's 31, New Mexico State 17. We'll step aside. You're listening to Gales Basketball from Learfield. Hey Gales fans, if you love attending live sporting events and concerts, then be sure to check out Tickets for Less. At ticketsforless.com, you'll find the best selection of tickets to all your favorite events, and you never pay steep per ticket service fees like you do on other sites. Whether you're looking to see your Gales or are planning a trip to see a big event in the city, ticketsforless.com should always be your first stop for tickets. Ticketsforless.com, proud partner of St. Mary's Athletics and live event goers everywhere. Bay Alarm is proud to sponsor the St. Mary's Gales. How good is your defense? When it comes to protecting your home or business, Bay Alarm has been bringing the best for over 75 years with security camera and fire alarm systems designed to fit your specific needs, expertly installed and professionally monitored 24 seven. Ready to up your security game? Go to bayalarm.com and let our team of security experts get you protected today. Go Gales. Walnut Creek offers Gales fans quick and easy access to the excitement of a vibrant city and the charm of hometown California, all in one central location. Only seven miles from campus, Walnut Creek Hotels are the official lodging partners for St. Mary's. In a sunny, upscale, and comfortable environment at the base of Mount Diablo, Walnut Creek brings together an eclectic collection of culture, award-winning shopping, hotels, sports facilities, and cuisine to make you smile at every turn. Go to visitwalnutcreek.org to explore your next adventure. This is Augustus Marshallonis, and you're listening to Gales Basketball. 3.13 to play in the opening half. St. Mary's leads New Mexico State 31-17, and Kwaye Gordon will have uh, two free throws with 3.13 to play in the opening half. That foul, by the way, the second on Logan Johnson, Dave. So now two on LJ, two on Kyle Bowen, maybe two of the best defenders in the West Coast Conference. We'll see if Coach Bennett at this point, because you have a pretty good lead, you have a couple guys with two fouls, wouldn't be the worst thing to get either of those guys out of the game, maybe save them for the second half, since you have the cushion now. Gordon slides home his first free throw. Well, he did that with uh, with LJ and with uh, Kyle Bowen a little bit earlier. Johnson is a plus 15 so far in 16 minutes, at least uh, before that free throw. And these guys are smart, so they know how to play with fouls. Gordon hits both free throws. We have a whistle. I think Tony Padilla thought we had a, a substitute at the uh, scores table. Randy McCall, Tony Padilla, Darren White. Three pretty good officials tonight, Dave. It's a good crew. Gales have their starters on the floor. 
And Pinson applying some backcourt pressure on Mahaney. The Gale lead is a dozen. Gales are being led by Alex Dukas' 12. They've hit seven threes in this half. That's the most. Oh, what a pass oh. by Mahaney. No look drop off to Saxon across the paint. Saxon is fouled. He'll go to the line. The eyes tell it all. And for Aiden, the eyes looking away. And for Aiden, Dave, I mean, again, we're just seeing his, his playmaking ability continue to grow. I mean, I, I think early in this year, you mentioned the 25 points against Oral Roberts, more of a scorer. But it, again, that's, I mean, that's not an easy pass to make as Saxon hits the free throw. This has been a trouble area for Mitch. Last seven games coming into tonight, 11 of 28 from the stripe as he splits the free throws here. Before in his first four games, Dave, 10 for 11 from the, from the uh, free throw line. Had that stretch of three or four games where he just couldn't buy one. Gale lead 13. Pinson. Avery touch pass to Gordon. Just taking everything away in the half court. It has not been easy for the Aggies. They're 7 of 22 from the field. Washington has 7 for New Mexico State. He's got 10 as he hits a 3. Hey, sometimes you just tip your cap right there. That was great defense all the way through. And a tough shot over Dukas. He can really score. And at 6 7, 205, he's going to present a big time matchup problem in the WAC. Yeah, lead 10 once more. Oh, Haney he triple team. Screen. Yeah. Try to take that away. Eight to shoot. Mahaney in a crowd. Here's Dukas with four. Runner off glass. It looked like it hit the rim. Shot clock never reset. That looked like it hit the rim. And Tony Padilla is going to go to the scores table. Greg Heyer, Randy Bennett. It looked like it barely hit the rim. That little runner from Alex Dukas hit the window. Looked like it just barely got a piece of the rim, and it was Saxon's offensive rebound. And with 1.55 to go, they're going to take a look here. I thought I saw just a little change in direction. Coach Joyner pointed out and agreeing with you that, hey, it hit the rim, so we'll see. Meanwhile, Dave, the Gales have eight assists on 12 field goals here in the first half. As I mentioned, the seven threes. The most St. Mary's has made in the first half all year long. They're 12 of 22 from the field. And as Mickey McConnell told me in the pregame show, you know, we think we really have an advantage on these guys inside. They are doubling up New Mexico State on the boards. We always come to that double figure assist thing, what the trend is over the years. Almost there already with a long way to go on this one and crushing them off the boards. Just those two stats alone, you look at that and say, hey, St. Mary's gonna be in pretty good shape. And that number you mentioned, Dave, with the uh, Ball distribution. Over four plus years, it's been remarkable. The trend, just getting to double figures in assists, they almost never lose. A 72 and 14. But during the Gales three game losing streak earlier this year, they had double digit assists in all three. Uh, they are gonna say the ball hit the rim, so we'll put 17 back on the shot clock. And the Gales will have it on the baseline. Leading by 10. And a crucial 155 upcoming here, Dave. You can really separate a little bit more before the break. That would serve you well, of course. Mahaney to trigger. Bowen on the catch. 150 to go in the opening half. LJ, good pass to Saxon. Saxon falls over a foul called on Muhammad. That is just the fourth team foul on New Mexico State in half number one, but it's the second on Issa Muhammad, who averages nearly 12 points a game. This has been a critical stretch for St. Mary's going with Logan Johnston and Kyle Bone, both of the two fouls over the last several minutes, but both avoiding their third. And still keeping a double figure lead. James Beck, 6'8 senior, checks in, replacing Muhammad. And Marshall Lonis will check in as well. And there's LJ's rest. I think this is a good coaching decision by Randy Bennett. Johnson is so important to everything the Gales do. Mahaney lobs it in. Bowen, tough catch, contested there by Avery. 17 to shoot, 140 on the game clock, 10 points St. Mary's lead. Marshallonis skips it. Bowen open. 
three just a little strong. Rebound, good save by Washington. That was last touch by Beck. Aggies with it. Gordon attacking Mahaney. Tough shot, slithers his way to the cup. And used that inside hand to get it to the backboard before shot blocker could come over. So now the Gale lead down to a single digit for the first time in about six minutes. Dukas didn't want the three. Puts Avery on his hip, backing down. Left hand this time, trying to draw a foul. Missed everything. Washington with the board. Inside of a minute to play, Pinson step back three, way short. Barely grazed the front of the iron, and the rebound is last touched by, I'm going to say last touched by St. Mary's. Gordon and Marshall Lonis were right there, so the Aggies will keep it. 20 to shoot for New Mexico State. A very rare second chance opportunity for the Aggies so far in this first half. In fact, that's their first offensive rebound. Gordon drops it off to Beck, who runs into Mahaney, and a foul is called on Aiden. Just wrong place, wrong time, and Beck will go to the line for two shots. All ISO, only one assist. That was on the lob dunk. The only assisted basket so far in the first half for New Mexico State. So 16 fouls now on St. Mary's, first on Mahaney. Well, most of the Aggie assists come from two players, Pinson and Washington who both average over five per game. That is a rounded in for Beck. Aggies average nearly 16 assists per game. As you mentioned, here in the first half, they have one. Beck second, good. Well, this is now just a six-point game. This is in a little 11-1 uh, to one run for New Mexico State to get back into it. About a 15 differential between, second differential between the two clocks. Saxon going to work. Saxon fouled and won. That's one of the very few possessions this half where St. Mary's made a concerted effort to go four out and one in and just throw it in there. Now really one of the only possessions that the Aggies haven't sent help to the post as well. That time one on one with Beck and Saxon he is so efficient in there as Chris Howell will check in for Kyle Bowen. And Saxon, one for two from the line tonight. Can make this a three-point play and a nine-point St. Mary's lead with we, this free throw. We said this earlier, and when he really gets it going down low, he's maybe the best low post scorer since John Landale played here. Yeah. He's got that ability to finish. He, Logan Johnson said they call him the juice box because of his, you know, his wide shoulders, the big frame. <laughs> Hits the free throw, Gale's back up by nine. That's a great nickname. It's a difference maker defensively, too. Especially around the rim on the screen roll. 8.6 rebounds, two assists for Saxon. About a half second differential between the two clocks. So New Mexico State plays for the last shot of the first half. Gale's lead by nine. Beck guarded by Saxon. Here's Pinson with seven, leaves his feet. Beck spinning in the lane, tough shot off the rim, no good. Marshallonis has a shot, this will count if it goes, it's way short. And that ends the first half. So Gales get a big and one, Dave, from Mitchell Saxon right before the horn. That stops an 11 to one New Mexico State run. And all things considered, you take a nine point lead into the break, although you look at the box score and it could be more. You always want to play that full 40 minutes and St. Mary's had a chance to really separate right there. Couple moments of letting New Mexico State back in the game. This is a good basketball team that's capable of making some big time noise in the whack, so a chance to really knock them out. Credit to the Aggies for hanging in there. So halftime here in Moraga, St. Mary's 35, New Mexico State 26. We will take a break. We'll come back with more in our halftime show right after this. Don't go anywhere. Gales with a nine point lead at the break. You're listening to St. Mary's Basketball from Learfield. 
Show your school spirit and earn rewards as the official credit union of St. Mary's College University Credit Union offers a custom designed rewards credit card for the Gale family. Enjoy no annual fee while earning unlimited points, making the UCU St. Mary's credit card the perfect card to use for everyday use. Plus, when you open a UCU checking account, you'll show even more Gale pride with the St. Mary's College debit card. Visit UCU.org to learn more and apply today. Federally insured by NCUA. Fourth Moore Tap Room and Grill in Orendo's Theater Square is now your official away game watch party location for St. Mary's Athletics. Enjoy apps, salads, burgers, or one of their signature handcrafted wood-fired pizzas on the patio with the giant fire pit. Plus, they offer discounts for all St. Mary's students, coaches, faculty, and alumni. Catch every game on one of their 10 big screen TVs or enjoy live music Thursday through Saturday evenings from 6.30 to 10.30. You can even have them cater your next event. For more information, visit thefourthboard.com or call 925-254-1183. Go Gales! Bay Alarm is proud to sponsor the St. Mary's Gales. How good is your defense? When it comes to protecting your home or business, Bay Alarm has been bringing the best for over 75 years. With security camera and fire alarm systems designed to fit your specific needs, expertly installed and professionally monitored 24-7. Ready to up your security game? Go to BayAlarm.com and let our team of security experts get you protected today. Go Gales. Welcome to the Visit Walnut Creek Halftime Show on the Gales Radio Network. Walnut Creek looks to brighten your world, connecting you to the best California experiences under the sun. Go to visitwalnutcreek.org to learn more. A first half recap, stats, and more are all ahead. Back courtside, here's Alex Jensen. Well, St. Mary's leads New Mexico State 35-26 at the break. Alongside Dave Lewis, I'm Alex Jensen. And Dave, you look at this box score, and of course you see the 52% seven threes for St. Mary's, but they've controlled this game defensively. Outside of Deshondre Washington uh, for the Aggies, who's four of seven. The rest of the club is just six of 19. Randy Bennett called Xavier Pinson, the uh, New Mexico State point guard, the head of the snake. Uh, and he is just one of six from the field. He has just one assist. The Aggies have just one assist. So while it's been a great offensive half for the Gales, their defense is controlling the ball game. Yeah, the one assist really stands out. We're making New Mexico State just absolutely grind for everything they got. Sometimes you just take your hat, you know, tip it, say, you know what, you made a great offensive play, which is something that the Aggies can do off the bounce. But the Gales in the half court, they're taking away the pick and roll, making them shoot it late in the shot clock. Everything gets tested inside, one and done on the glass and doing their thing on the offensive end on the other side of the court. Yeah, St. Mary's is plus seven on the boards, and as you mentioned, just one offensive rebound. That was a rebound that caromed out of bounds uh, for the Aggies. Offensively for St. Mary's, again, 13 of 25 from the field, 52%. They hit seven threes. That's a, that's a, a team high, a season high in the first half. Four of those came from Alex Dukas, who played all 20 minutes in that opening half. He has a team high 12, but it's been a deep, balanced effort, Dave, for St. Mary's on the offensive side. We saw that late in the first half where Saxon got a post touch on the four out and one in, but they've been moving the ball, whipping it around, penetrating, making the extra pass, the diagonal for the open threes. Dukas has been sensational, but a lot of guys making contributions offensively for St. Mary's. You know, if the Gales were able to just take down one or two of their turnovers, they had six turnovers in that first half, turned into eight New Mexico State points. Be looking at a bigger than than nine point lead right now, and the turnovers really right now through the first 11 games for the Gales, it's been a barometer for their success and their wins. They're turning it over just 9.7 times per game, nearly 10 times a game, and uh, in their losses, 16 times per game. St. Mary's when they turn it over 14 or more times is one and three. Uh, you know, I, I think a, a respectable half in that regard with six turnovers, it's manageable. It's right in the middle of that sweet spot, which you hope for. And as good as Aiden Mahaney has been all year, his assist to turnover ratio is basically one to one. I think 20 assists, 18 turnovers coming in. He'll be more effective in making better decisions throughout the game. Sometimes a little bit loose with it, but something you're gonna get from a young player, you're not gonna gripe about what that guy's been bringing to the table. A little surprising as well, Dave, is the fact that uh, New Mexico State has you know, I think early in this, in that first half, they made it a, a point to take Mitchell Saxon, you know, not let Mitchell Saxon beat them. Gales then beat them from three, but St. Mary's still being outscored in the paint in half number one, 12 to 10. 
Well, for New Mexico State, their point paints are all tough, rise over the defender shots yeah. in the key, some jump hooks, relying on their athleticism. And then a couple times getting into the key on the pick and roll, have not been nailing a bunch of threes. Their offense has all been one-on-one, -on -one getting to the basket or creating an opportunity for somebody else. As we mentioned, the Gales moved the needle a little bit on Saturday with their win over uh, San Diego State. And, uh, well, Gales Rewind recaps that perfectly. we got some thoughts from Mickey McConnell, some highlights from that game. We'll play that coming up next. If you'd like to hear more of uh, St. Mary's podcast and Gales Rewind, which comes after every single St. Mary's game, go to your podcast app, search St. Mary's. You'll find it all right there. So Gales Rewind for uh, the St. Mary's win on Saturday over San Diego State. And uh, Dave and I will return after that and get you ready for the second half here in Moraga. St. Mary's 35, New Mexico State 26. More coming up next. The Gales moved the needle in the Valley of the Sun on Saturday afternoon, taking down the preseason Mountain West favorite second straight win. I'm Alex Jensen, and this is Gales Rewind for St. Mary's 68-61 victory over the San Diego State Aztecs at the Footprints Center in Phoenix. Trailing by one after the second media timeout in the first half, the Gales put together a 15-5 run to take a nine-point lead with five minutes remaining until halftime. Right wing for Mahaney, he'll take a three off the catch, and he knocks it down. Mahaney hits the Gales' third three, and St. Mary's has a two-point lead. Nice find from Saxon. Johnson run off the line, penetrate, kick out to Dukas. Dukas with a jump stop in the lane, rise up for a floater. That's up and good from about six. Alex Dukas with a dozen already. Backing down on Mensa, holding a left-hand dribble, poked away from behind. Mahaney picks up the loose ball, dribbles the elbow, rises up, 15-footer up and good. Mahaney into Saxon's short corner, handoff back to Aiden, taking a drive across the lane, goes up, flips it high off the window and in. Marshallonis, now Johnson between the circles, holding a left-hand dribble, crosses over to the right, takes a probing drive with the right hand. Running hook is up and good off the window over Seiko. 29-21, the Gale lead. Yeah, this is one of those games we talked about before. It's, you know, the Houston, San Diego State, they're some of the best teams defensively in the country, and they've gotten the best of us the past couple of years, and I thought we responded really well. I think offensively early. First half, we were really good. We, we did a good job. We just didn't take care of it, and then second half, we did, so. After a San Diego State run that included a half-court shot at the first half buzzer that tied the game going into the break, the Gales responded, going on a 15-4 run midway through the second half to turn a two-point deficit into a nine-point lead again. And after after a mini Aztec spurt trimmed the lead to three, Mitchell Saxon gave the Gales a huge lift with an and one with less than two minutes remaining. Now gives it off to Johnson. Johnson lobs it downstairs to Saxon. All alone, low right goes up, scores off the window. Ties this game again at 46. D directing traffic, jab step, now probing on the left baseline, gets the rim, rises up, can't score. Wessels is right there for the putback. And Wessels puts the Gales back on top, 48-46. Now Bradley drops off to a rope. Outside it goes to Trammell, it's over his head. Run down by LJ. Foot race to the rim, and Johnson will lay it in. Post touch now for Wessels. Back to the basket outside the lane line left. Hits Mahaney wide open. Left side three on the way. That's good. Aiden Mahaney with the answer. Turning the corner with the left hand. Kick out to the left wing for Johnson. Johnson walks the dribble middle of the floor. Crosses over. Now takes a quick drive to the cup with the left hand and finishes off the window. Now the Gale lead a half dozen again. Boy, so quick with that first step. Takes it right off the Saxon screen. Now turns the corner to the right elbow. Kick out to Dukas. He's wide open from the left wing. Let's a three fly, and he knocks it down. That gives the Gales that ties their biggest lead at nine. And San Diego State will call time. Box set for the Gales. Mahaney will trigger, looking. Gets it into Saxon. Saxon drives baseline, rises up, scored off the window and one. The foul on Mensa. He is now fouled out. Saxon gives the Gales a five point lead. I thought we played well in the first half, uh, but I thought we had a little bit more we, we could have done in that first half. And obviously they hit that shot. It could it could go either way when you come out um, to start that half. But I thought our guys were really focused. They, they came out uh, with a good intensity and didn't let it affect them at all. And that's kind of what our guys have to be. They're tough, they're, they're gritty, they're, they stay together really well and they compete for each other and it really helped us tonight. I thought across the board we played we played well. Second half we were awesome on D. Um, we did a really good job on Butler and Trammell and on Bradley in that second half and made it tough for them and kind of warmed down I think. It's one thing just to play in it but you, you want to play in these games to win. You're, you're no trying question. to win these games and you're trying to compete and these are games that you know they kind of seem like uh, NCAA tournament games you want to be comfortable in those and those that's the step that you want those guys to take is 
No, these are the games that we need to win. We deserve to win these games. Uh, I mean, we're capable of winning all these. Yeah, it was a fun game, and, you know, I'm really, really proud of our guys, really happy the way they play. Now 8-3, and three, the Gales will return home for two games this week, starting with a Wednesday night tilt with the New Mexico State Aggies at University Credit Union Pavilion with tip-off scheduled for 7 p.m. Until then, I'm Alex Jensen, and you've been listening to Gales Rewind. Show your school spirit and earn rewards as the official credit union of St. Mary's College, University Credit Union offers a custom-designed rewards credit card for the Gale family. Enjoy no annual fee while earning unlimited points, making the UCU St. Mary's credit card the perfect card to use for everyday use. Plus, when you open a UCU checking account, you'll show even more Gale pride with the St. Mary's College debit card. Visit ucu.org to learn more and apply today. Federally insured by NCUA. Walnut Creek offers Gales fans quick and easy access to the excitement of a vibrant city and the charm of hometown California, all in one central location. Only seven miles from campus, Walnut Creek Hotels are the official lodging partners for St. Mary's. In a sunny, upscale, and comfortable environment at the base of Mount Diablo, Walnut Creek brings together an eclectic collection of culture, award-winning shopping, hotels, sports facilities, and cuisine to make you smile at every turn. Go to visitwalnutcreek.org to explore your next adventure. My name's Tony Tornado. I write and star in my own shows and movies. My crew knows that I dream of Hollywood. They also know that I love Mountain Dew. But there's so much more they don't know. Sometimes at night, I look up at the stars and think, I know why Mountain Dew's so crucial to my existence. But does anybody else? See, Dew's the green gold circulating through my veins. It makes Tony Tornado believe that he can do anything. So now you know my secret. But there's so much more you don't know. Do the do. Welcome back to Moraga alongside Dave Lewis. I'm Alex Jensen. Let's uh, take a quick look at our Visit Walnut Creek out-of-town scoreboard with St. Mary's leading New Mexico State 35-26. to 26. This is the only West Coast Conference game on the slate today. Pacific yesterday bounced back from losing to Cal State East Bay with a win over Division II Stanislaus State 80-56. to 56. Uh, you know, Tigers, Dave, lost to Cal State East Bay after uh, beating Fresno State at home. The Tigers are 5-8. and eight. Santa Clara is a team that's been up and down as well over the last couple weeks, defeating Portland State by just three. They lost to uh, San, Jose State. San Jose State, yes, and uh, and came down to the wire against Sacramento State. You know, for uh, for the Broncos, it seems like when Brandon Pajemski is good, they're really tough. When he's not, they struggle. And they were in a very tough game with these guys in New Mexico State, a one-point game at the Levy Center. So you don't know what you're going to get on a nightly basis, but certainly it'll be a tough out when you get to league play. So no, no question about it. St. Mary's women on the road uh, this week defeated Boise State in overtime last Saturday and then lost to Montana State on Monday in Bozeman, 91 to 56. Walnut Creek looks to brighten your world, connecting you to the best California experiences under the sun. Go to visit walnutcreek.org to learn more. One more break. We'll come back with the second half from Moraga. The Gales lead New Mexico State 35 26. You're listening to St. Mary's basketball from Learfield. Bay Alarm is proud to sponsor the St. Mary's Gales. How good is your defense? When it comes to protecting your home or business, Bay Alarm has been bringing the best for over 75 years. With security camera and fire alarm systems designed to fit your specific needs, expertly installed and professionally monitored 24-7. Ready to up your security game? Go to BayAlarm.com and let our team of security experts get you protected today. Go Gales! Out here, we charge into the heartland with Mountain Dew. Out here, there's no rush hour, just the rush of flying wide open on glassy water at 5 a.m. with your first dew in hand. And there's no spin class, just bright green spinner bait that ironically matches your second dew. Out here, we don't just play big buck hunt, we hunt actual big bucks. And out here, the best road is off-road, and the color of your truck is mud. Out here, it's dew. 
Since 1990, the team at Common Interest Management has been privileged to serve boards of directors and community homeowners of many of the Bay Area's most prestigious communities. Whether working with a newly established community in the earliest stages of development or a more mature community, our experienced managers consult with the board to share best practices in all areas of community management. Common Interest tailors its services for communities of all sizes. If you are currently evaluating a new management company, please visit us at commoninterest.com. You're listening to St. Mary's Basketball on the Gales Radio Network. Once again, here's Alex Jensen. Gales with the basketball to start the second half, leading by nine. Starters on the floor for both teams. St. Mary's for that first half shot 52% with seven threes. Right away, here's a post touch for Saxon. And a turnover as Saxon tried to get it out to the corner for Mahaney. Good defense by Pinson in the seventh Gale giveaway. Starters on the floor for New Mexico State. Pinson with uh, Gordon, Washington, Muhammad, and Beck. Muhammad on Saxon, high off the window, a little runner. Really earned that one. Saxon did a nice job of moving his feet on that up fake. Gales have led in this game by as many as 16. LJ probing. Dukas didn't want the three, instead hands it off to Mahaney. 14 to shoot. Gales turned it over on their first possession. Johnson, tough pass off the feet of Saxon, another St. Mary's turnover. Two possessions, two turnovers. Gordon in the open floor. Tough shot, good defense by Bowen, and he corrals the loose ball. Foul is called. This will go against New Mexico State as Gordon is trying to fight off Bowen for the rebound. Seven-point spread, and... Could be a lot closer with St. Mary's not taking care of it to start the half. Eight turnovers now in the Gales. Bowen and Johnson each with two fouls for St. Mary's. Mohammed has two for the Aggies. Bowen's wide open, straight away, got it. That's a three. Slapping fives with Dukas. They've been playing together forever. And that's a big basket for Kyle. Washington behind the back for Mohammed, trying to stretch the floor. Rebound out of bounds to the Gales. Eight St. Mary's threes now, Dave. Their season high in a game, 11 against Southern. I love seeing that one from Bowen. Any offense he adds is a big time plus. He does everything else out there for you. KB is three of four from the field as Gordon commits another foul. It's his second. I mean, you look at the numbers for, for Kyle Bowen. Dave, two of three from three tonight. That makes him 11 of 23. That's nearly 50%. Well, he's the definition of a player that stays within himself. He takes only really open shots, but it's the glue that holds the team together. Johnson fouled by Washington. And will this be free throws for LJ? It will. So LJ to the line, 18.09 to play. New Mexico State does not like this, thinking that was not a shot attempt. Greg hired he is off the bench pleading his case. But Johnson's first free throw is good. Gales are five and one, Dave, when Johnson scores in double figures. So far tonight, he has just five, making four. He's only taken two shots. He's done a great job tonight of letting the game come to him. Other guys are knocking down shots. It's both free throws here, and the Gale lead is back to a dozen, two minutes into the second half. Pinson really has not had a big effect on this game for the Aggies. Man guarding him is Logan Johnson. Change of pace, a lot of contact. Misses the runner. KB with the board off the putback attempt from Beck. Greg Heyer is incensed off the New Mexico State bench. Bowen wide open, left side this time. Yes, sir. Rattles at home. Clean look at that one. I knew it was in the second it left his hand. You were calling for a uh, New Mexico State timeout. Greg Heyer is going to let his guys play. Washington mid-range rattles it in. Coach knows his team playing through adversity. Washington is five for eight. The rest of the Aggies are six for 23. 
Bowen is into double figures with 11 points. Mahaney finds Bowen. Open again. Short this time. Track stay on his own rebound. And now Mahaney will restart the half-court offense. They're really showing high off that ball screen when Mahaney has the, has the leather. Dukas, active hands for the Aggies. Cause a deflection, can't come away with it. Just Stays the Gales. The turnover. Just one second to shoot. Gales have turned it over eight times. New Mexico State on the other side, just three giveaways. Average 12.9 a game. So St. Mary's will have to get something off quick here. One to shoot. 16.43 on the game clock. Gales lead by 13. Mahaney to trigger. Saxon will hoist. Rebound out of bounds. Last touch by Bowen. Of all the possibilities on that sideline out of bounds, the last thing I thought would be the big guy stepping out for a three. Well, he's, a probably, look at it. he's probably gonna be the guy that's open, right? From that distance. That's his first three-point attempt on the year. Pretty clean look at it. Yeah, that's a shot that this coaching staff believes that at some point in his career, Mitchell Sachs will have the ability to hit. Washington knifing to the rim. Saxon, that's his seventh rebound. Getting close to double-double territory. Eight and seven, Mahaney open from the corner. A poor transition defense for New Mexico State. You've got to locate him at the three-point line. That forces the timeout. That is the Gales' 10th three tonight. And they have once again opened up a 16-point lead. It matches their biggest advantage as Aiden Mahaney hits his second triple. He's got eight points. Dukas leads the way with 12. The Gales are three of five in the second half. And with 16-13 to play, we have a timeout on the floor and a break in the action here in Moraga. St. Mary's 46, New Mexico State 30. We'll step aside. You're listening to Gales Basketball from Learfield. Panini's Ristorante has been delivering quality food and beverages to the Moraga area for years and is a proud hometown partner of St. Mary's College Athletics. Casual dining with the whole family or an adult night out, they have you covered. Visit them at 1375 Moraga Way for a wonderful experience. Panini's Ristorante. Diablo Valley Insurance Agency is a full-service independent insurance brokerage located in Walnut Creek. Founded in 1956, our agency has been providing insurance services to clients throughout Northern California and the Western United States for over 50 years. Our team of insurance professionals will take the time to understand your needs, whether personal or related to your business, and provide the best products and services for you. Go to DiabloValleyInsurance.com today to request a quote. Diablo Valley Insurance Agency, local, independent, trusted. Show your school spirit and earn rewards as the official credit union of St. Mary's College, University Credit Union offers a custom-designed rewards credit card for the Gale family. Enjoy no annual fee while earning unlimited points, making the UCU St. Mary's credit card the perfect card to use for everyday use. Plus, when you open a UCU checking account, you'll show even more Gale pride with the St. Mary's College debit card. Visit ucu.org to learn more and apply today. Federally insured by NCUA. This is Kyle Bowen, and you're listening to Gales Basketball. Gales have matched their biggest lead with an 11-4 spurt to start the second half, 46-30 St. Mary's. Alongside Dave Lewis, I'm Alex Jensen. Reminder, get the latest news on the Gales by going to smcgales.com. Up-to-date scores, video highlights, and stories about St. Mary's. You can also find the Gales on social media, at SMC Gales, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Dave, the Gales are shooting the ball at a high clip tonight. 10 of 21 on threes, and Alex, the previous two games before tonight, making a total of 10 three-point baskets. Six of 18 against San Diego State. Good drive by Pinson. It's just his second field goal starting point guard for the Aggies. Really long arms can extend to the rim so easily. Dukas open. That one pinballs out. Bowen, an offensive board. Goes back up, sticks it in. Kyle having a very big half, doing everything. He's got a career high now with 13 points. Offensive foul on Washington, running into Mahaney with 15.36 to play. A turnover on New Mexico State. It'll go back the other way. 
So Bone with that putback, Dave, now a career high, 13 points. He's also got five boards. He's taken seven shots. He's been more aggressive tonight. Three times before tonight, 10 points before the breakout game tonight. And played very well. Remember, he had the two fouls early. Hasn't picked up another one. Time on the floor here in Moraga, 15.36 to play. The Gales lead New Mexico State by 16. And we'll step aside. This is Gales basketball from Learfield. Fourth Moore Tap Room and Grill in Orendo's Theater Square is now your official away game watch party location for St. Mary's Athletics. Enjoy apps, salads, burgers, or one of their signature handcrafted wood-fired pizzas on the patio with the giant fire pit. Plus, they offer discounts for all St. Mary's students, coaches, faculty, and alumni. Catch every game on one of their 10 big screen TVs or enjoy live music Thursday through Saturday evenings from 6.30 to 10.30. You can even have them cater your next event. For more information, visit thefourthboard.com or call 925-254-1183. Go Gales! Walnut Creek offers Gales fans quick and easy access to the excitement of a vibrant city and the charm of hometown California, all in one central location. Only seven miles from campus, Walnut Creek Hotels are the official lodging partners for St. Mary's. In a sunny, upscale and comfortable environment at the base of Mount Diablo, Walnut Creek brings together an eclectic collection of culture, award-winning shopping, hotels, sports facilities, and cuisine to make you smile at every turn. Go to visitwalnutcreek.org to explore your next adventure. Hey, Gales fans, if you love attending live sporting events and concerts, then be sure to check out Tickets for Less. At ticketsforless.com, you'll find the best selection of tickets to all your favorite events, and you never pay steep per-ticket service fees like you do on other sites. Whether you're looking to see your Gales or are planning a trip to see a big event in the city, ticketsforless.com should always be your first stop for tickets. Ticketsforless.com, proud partner of St. Mary's Athletics and live event goers everywhere. This is Harry Wessels, more St. Mary's basketball coming up. Gales lead by 16. They'll have the basketball with 15 and a half minutes to play with Dave Lewis. I'm Alex Jensen. Thanks for joining us on this Wednesday. The Gales look for their third consecutive win and taking on a New Mexico State team that's coming off a big win itself against Duquesne. Nine to shoot. Starters on the floor for St. Mary's. The big man Odunawu is out there as well for New Mexico State. Johnson's three is too strong. And Odunawu with a rebound for the Aggies. Still a pretty clean, wide open look. Passing out of the post. Gales have hit 10 threes tonight. That's one off their season high. Pinson, nice move. Tough finish. Can't get it to crawl home. Bowen picks up the rebound. Nothing has come easy tonight, Dave, for the Aggies. Saxon underneath. Bowen. Mahaney wide open. He's going to hit that nine out of ten times. That's a senior pass, too, with Bowen. Tried to get it to Mahaney the first time around. They took it away, found a better angle, passed the second time for the open three. Mahaney now into double figures. That's the Gales' 12th assists. Four St. Mary's Gales have at least two assists. And St. Mary's has now opened up their biggest lead at 19. Pinson with a head of steam beats Saxon to the rim. Good finish. With a 30-point differential from the three-point line, this is a lot to overcome. Uh, this is not good as Dukas is limping a little bit on that right side. He's going to walk it off. I don't want to see that. Pounded the floor. He's going to stay in the ball game here. Josh Sims, St. Mary's trainer, making sure he's okay. Kyle Fights checks back in for the Aggies. Mohammed and Gordon come off. Marcellus Avery also back in for New Mexico State as Chris Howell sheds the warm up. The elite is 17. I thought for sure Dukas would be coming out of the game after that. Mahaney down the lane, can't finish with the left hand. Bowen with the offensive rebound. Mahaney again wide open. Yes, sir. Man alive. Can this kid shoot it? They're taking advantage of that second opportunity. Great ball movement. Locating their shooter for a corner three. He is five for six from the floor, four of four from deep. The Gales have a season high, 12 threes. Pinson spinning off his thigh out of bounds to the Gales. Gales have a 20-point lead just like that. 
as uh, Chris Howell will check in here for Dukas. 12 of 25 from three for the game, Dave. Five of nine in the second half. Three players in double figures already. Saxon led Mahaney a little bit too much. Gales are going to catch a break as the Aggies couldn't corral the loose ball. And looking at Dukas on the sideline, he just came out of the game to come out of the game. They're not doing anything to him medically. He's just relaxing. So apparently just a little minor tweak. Should be back out there. Gale lead is 20. Nice pass. Uh, Mahaney finds Johnson on the inbounds. It was a wheel route from the left of the lane with Johnson circling to the elbow, then back to the rim. Great ball movement and a nice delivery. LJ has seven. That's the Gales' 14th assist. And New Mexico State calls time as the Gales have blitzed the Aggies out of halftime here, outscoring New Mexico State 21-8. This is a 10-2 run, Dave Lewis. Yeah, they cut it down to seven early in that second half before St. Mary's dropped the hammer. Now, it should be mentioned that this is a, an Aggies team that is on the last leg of a long road trip. I mean, they have not been back to, back to uh, Las Cruces since they left to come play Santa Clara on December 7th. So it's a week-long road trip. They went to the South Bay to play Santa Clara, then to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, to play Duquesne. Did not return to Las Cruces. Came all the way back to the West Coast to take on the Gales. So no pit stop at home for anything. No, that is correct. They're also uh, they're short-handed. Mike Peake has been suspended indefinitely, as has Anthony Roy. They're playing with nine guys, but the Gales, Dave, also playing with ten guys. And right now, I think St. Mary's, again, really found something in the second half of that Houston game. I mean, they were dialed in defensively against Missouri State. Obviously, the big win on Saturday, and they really played well here tonight. They showed they could compete with the best team in the country. Then picked up a nice win against a ranked team last time out. Their lead is 22. Washington's been a lone bright spot for the Aggies. Misfires on a three. Odunawu with the offensive board. He's fouled on the putback. He'll go to the line. A rare offensive rebound and some good movement defensively for St. Mary's. Saxon showing on that ball screen prior to the jump shot. The Aggies will have a big opportunity, day before getting to WAC play, when they'll take on the Kent State Golden Flashes at the uh, West Star Sun Bowl Invitational game in El Paso. And that's a Kent State team who's been impressive so far in the non-conference. The Golden Flashes you know, took Gonzaga down to the final minutes in the kennel as Wessels checks back in for Saxon and also took Houston down to the wire at the Fertitta Center on the campus of the University of Houston. Kent State, number 33 in terms of their Ken Palm ranking. Another shot coming up also against Sam Houston, number 23 in the country. And of course, a long way to go in this game tonight. Gales do lead by 20, but there is still 12 and a half minutes to play as New Mexico State will pressure high with uh, Avery on Mahaney, 56-36. Bowen thought better of the three that time. Nine to shoot. Mahaney checked by Gordon. Here's the freshman. Fires away. Three off the back rim. Wessels with an offensive board and a foul. And he'll have two shots. 12-14 to play. This guy is going to be a really good player here. Totally agree. I mean, his size is, I mean, he is all of 7'1", 255. But he's not just big. I mean, he can move around. Yeah. And he has skills. He's not just hey, get the 7-1 big guy out there. He can do some things out there that can really help, and he really understands how to play. And you really feel him when he's out there as he's off the front rim on the first free throw. And this, you know, he, he is not close to this player, Dave, at, at this point in his career. But the name that comes to mind for me, a young Shemek Karnowski out of Gonzaga. He doesn't have the same size. He's not at that point and not to the point where uh, Shemek was when he was a freshman. That's the type of impact with his size that he can have. Not a bad call in that one. Huge body out there. Eight minutes in to the second half. Washington with the drive. Ran to a brick wall as Wessels 
kept his verticality. 12 to shoot. Washington the crossover. Howell almost had a pick. Avery probing. Knocked away. Foul called. 11.47 to go. And that will come on Chris Howell. Two shots up coming for New Mexico State. 11.47 to play. In our ball game tonight here in Moraga, and the Gales have controlled the second half. And really, for the most part, all 28 minutes thus far. 11.47 to go. St. Mary's 57, New Mexico State 36. We'll step aside. You're listening to Gales Basketball from Learfield. Diablo Valley Insurance Agency is a full-service independent insurance brokerage located in Walnut Creek. Founded in 1956, our agency has been providing insurance services to clients throughout Northern California and the Western United States for over 50 years. Our team of insurance professionals will take the time to understand your needs, whether personal or related to your business, and provide the best products and services for you. Go to DiabloValleyInsurance.com today to request a quote. Diablo Valley Insurance Agency, local, independent, trusted. Since 1990, the team at Common Interest Management has been privileged to serve boards of directors and community homeowners of many of the Bay Area's most prestigious communities. Whether working with a newly established community in the earliest stages of development or a more mature community, our experienced managers consult with the board to share best practices in all areas of community management. Common Interest tailors its services for communities of all sizes. If you are currently evaluating a new management company, please visit us at commoninterest.com. This is Luke Barrett. Stay tuned because more St. Mary's basketball is on the way. St. Mary's 57, New Mexico State 36. Alongside Dave Lewis, I'm Alex Jensen. Glad to have you with us on this Wednesday. And we'd love to see you when the Gales return to action here in Moraga, taking on Colorado State on Sunday at 5 p.m. Tickets are available. They can be had at smcgales.com. You can come here to campus in Moraga. Go to the ticket office during regular business hours as Marcellus Avery, 6'8", sophomore, will have two free throws here out of the timeout. 11.47 to play. And he slides home his first. And, you know, Dave, we mentioned the, you know, New Mexico State playing a little shorthanded. They're also waiting on a potential waiver to come for a key transfer, Kim Aiken Jr., who came over from Arizona. He was considered to be a big-time get for the Wildcats a year ago, and he transferred there from Eastern Washington, where he was the Big Sky Defensive Player of the Year. And the wait is any minute, I guess, right, to have this guy being a part of the team. Well, should he come as the Gales break the pressure, and Chris Howell can't score. Harry Wessels tips it in. Flying in, left the lane. Little 1-3-1 one, one look extending. Randy Bennett's team prepared for it. The yeah, lead is 23. Wessels, he was a plus nine in eight and a half minutes against San Diego State on Saturday. Drive to the rim. Wessels erases it at the backboard. Came in from the top of the key, but sprinted to the rim. Johnson, no. Wessels, no. Wessels again, no. Great work, everything but the finish. Washington. Terminates, throws it away. Avery runs it down. 14 to shoot. Fight over that screen. Gordon just dropped it. Gales have a run out here. Mahaney for LJ. Johnson to the rim. Blocked and a foul. And Johnson is down and now up to the seat of his pants. And he will have free throws here. This guy is tough as anything. And he will go to the line. He hit the deck hard. Dave and Dukas and Marshallonis waiting at the scores table with 10.41 to play. LJ will go to the stripe. That right arm hanging a little bit. That was the same elbow. Just a little irritation. He'll take his time here. Seven points for LJ, just two of six shooting. He's got four assists, though, Dave. He has come so far in that aspect of his game. And what he's done on the other end of the court, bottling up a very good player in Pinson. It really is hard to understate exactly what Logan Johnson means to this club. It really is, in more ways than one. Howell comes off, Duke is back on. Here comes Marshallonis. He'll return in place of Mahaney. You know, in Fort Worth, it, you know, the practice before the Gales took on Houston, they had lost two in a row. 
And Johnson gathered the club at, at center court or during a gathering. Very audible throughout the arena. You know, some choice words and saying, hey, we've got to regain our toughness. That's who we are. Gales did that against Houston. They haven't looked back. And he is the unquestioned leader of this club, with, along with Alex Dukas and Kyle Bowen. Pinson attacking. And Wessels, the foul on fellow freshman Odunawu. And that will send Odunawu to the line with 10.29 to play. Nice move by Shakiro. Shakiro, hips don't lie as he gets near the basket. <laughs> yes, I had thought about that all day. You really delivered at the right time, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Misses his first free throw. Redshirted last year with the Aggies, was a late recruit by Chris Jans after the 2021 season. Splits the free throws here. Pressure again, 1-2-2 two, two, full court. Want to get in the middle, stay away from the sideline. Marshall Onis will take a turn at point. Gale lead is 21. Foul on Pinson, trying to fight over that handoff. As uh, LJ will go back to the line as the Gales are now in the bonus. Seventh team foul on New Mexico State. How about this, Alex? There were two turnovers in the first couple possessions of the half of St. Mary's. None since. So when Gales hold on to the ball, I mean, they just they have operated at a high level offensively for the most part this year. Pinson fouled driving to the lane. So two possessions, two turnovers to start the half. Basically 10 minutes without any. Well, that is, you know, when you're shooting 50% for the game and you don't turn the ball over, I mean, you, just, you, you become a really tough team to beat. Along with being plus 12 on the boards. Pinson will have a pair here. Chicago native knocks it down. It's been a little turnover prone recently. 11 turnovers over his last two games. Just has one tonight. Slides home the second free throw. Gale lead is 19. Still a long way to go here. Just over midway through the first half. Marshallonis gets around Pinson. Gales will set up shop in the half court. Nine to shoot. Trying to get it downstairs to Wessels. Now a ball screen for Marshallonis. Three to shoot. Johnson shot fake and now partially blocked on that three-point attempt. And LJ, he felt like he got fouled. Trying to use his body to get the foul by getting nothing. Saxon returns. Mahaney back in the ball game. Johnson and Wessels come off. I'm surprised New Mexico State with their press is not a little bit more aggressive trying to force turnovers. Looks like they're just trying to make St. Mary's use some clock to get it across half court. That was the ninth turnover on the Gales. Maybe trying to get the pace to where the Aggies want it in this game. Fallon Marshall Lone is trying to fight over that screen. All of a sudden, we've kind of ground to a halt on this Wednesday night. 15 foul on the Gales. Marshall Lone picks up his first. But reminding you, this is a team that averages 79 points per game for the year coming in. Yep. Bottled up tonight, held to 41. Their previous low, they scored 64 at UTEP. Pinson, tough shot, knocks down the three. It's a big time talent, first team preseason all whack. Gale lead now 16 again. Gales have not scored in two and a half minutes. Marshallonis, Euro step. They wanted to take away the corner pass, the strong side opening for Dukas, so you run him off the three point line, but 
Marshall showed the ball and took it to the rim. That's the kind of play that will keep Augustus Marshallonis effective. I mean, when he slows the game down like that, when he makes that type of read, he's got all league potential. Pinson, five to shoot. A lot of dribbling here. Step back three, front rim miss. That's a typical New Mexico State possession tonight, just going one-on-one -on -one and a lot of late shot clock opportunities. They still have, Dave, just one assist. I remember it, too. That was the lob dunk to the rim. Yeah. Team that averages 15 and a half a game. Bowen, Marshallonis. Three is offline, and Mohammed clears the board for the Aggies. Inside of eight minutes to play. Just getting nothing in rhythm in the half court. Dr. Bradley has checked in for his first action. 6'8", sophomore out of Los Angeles. He'll drive on Duke as tried a Euro step back to the left hand. Saxon picks up another rebound. Have you heard ever of a first name doctor? I like it. What do you think? I'm not saying I don't like it. I mean, I've never heard it though, have you? You know, if he's, a, if he's a Gale, I see a few oh doctor calls in my future. Absolutely. Give it to him. Seven to shoot, here's Saxon. Good pass to Bowen. Wow. What a night he's having. Woo! That is Saxon's third assist. Bowen has 16 points. He is four of six, Dave, from three. 16 points, eight rebounds. You ask for an aggressive Kyle Bowen, you're getting it. And the shots he's taking are open shots. Aggressive, but smart. In rhythm. 13th St. Mary's three. Timeout here. We'll take the break as well. 6.57 to play. St. Mary's 65 to 42 over New Mexico State. You're listening to St. Mary's Basketball from Learfield. Out here, we'd charge into the heartland with Mountain Dew. Out here, there's no rush hour, just the rush of flying wide open on glassy water at 5 a.m. with your first dew in hand. And there's no spin class, just bright green spinner bait that ironically matches your second dew. Out here, we don't just play big buck hunt, we hunt actual big bucks. And out here, the best road is off-road, and the color of your truck is mud. Out here, it's dew. Bay Alarm is proud to sponsor the St. Mary's Gales. How good is your defense? When it comes to protecting your home or business, Bay Alarm has been bringing the best for over 75 years. With security camera and fire alarm systems designed to fit your specific needs, expertly installed and professionally monitored 24-7. Ready to up your security game? Go to BayAlarm.com and let our team of security experts get you protected today. Go Gales! Walnut Creek offers Gales fans quick and easy access to the excitement of a vibrant city and the charm of hometown California, all in one central location. Only seven miles from campus, Walnut Creek Hotels are the official lodging partners for St. Mary's. In a sunny, upscale and comfortable environment at the base of Mount Diablo, Walnut Creek brings together an eclectic collection of culture, award-winning shopping, hotels, sports facilities, and cuisine to make you smile at every turn. Go to visitwalnutcreek.org to explore your next adventure. You're listening to St. Mary's Basketball on the Gales Radio Network. Gales lead New Mexico 65-44. Alex Jensen with Dave Lewis back in Moraga. Kyle Fight takes a three off the catch. Saxon swallows up his 10th rebound. One bucket away from his second double-double. Joshua Jefferson has returned for St. Mary's. Marshallonis with the left hand. Boy, cradle in his left hand. Scores off the window. Took it off the bounce and kept it in his left hand the entire time. Used his body to shield off the defender. And he is so strong, Dave. I mean, he gets a mismatch. It's like a freight train coming downhill. Washington, no. Jefferson. Gales in the second half, 11 of 21. Three different Gales have made four threes tonight. 
Jefferson finds Mahaney. Offline with the three. Dr. Bradley with the rebound. Pinson foul line fouled by Jefferson. And Pinson will get himself to the line. 5.50 to play. One of the many things I admire about this Gales coaching staff with a 23 point lead, they're not gonna view these minutes as garbage time minutes. Even when you go to the bench, it's all about executing and playing the right way. Hey, Gale fans, if you love attending live sporting events and concerts, then be sure to check out Tickets for Less. At ticketsforless.com, you'll find the best selection of tickets to all of your favorite events, and you never have to pay steep per ticket service fees like you do on other sites. Whether you're looking to see your Gales or planning a trip to, to uh, see a big event in the city, ticketsforless.com should always be your first stop for tickets. Ticketsforless.com, proud partner of St. Mary's College Athletics and live event goers everywhere. Pinson splits the free throws. Gales lead by 22. Duke has been quiet in the second half. Looking for Saxon, he's got it now. Double comes. Skips it for Mahaney off a deflection. Too strong on a three. Dukas keeps it alive, but it's out of bounds. Mitchell's got such great vision when he's on the post, the help comes, whether he throws the diagonal or the pass to the opposite corner. Taking a page out of Matthias Toss's book. And the Gales play through the post so much, it's, when you have a, a five man that has that type of vision, I mean, it really goes a long way. Jefferson, good hands, and he's fouled. Very calm out there, that kid. Jefferson looks like he's barely breathing. He will have a one and one. He does a lot of things, Dave, that a lot of freshmen don't do. As I mentioned, his court vision, his passing ability, he's got really good hands, as you saw there. Luke Barrett will check in for Dukas. He's not passive but he doesn't try too hard to make something happen when he's out there. Let's the game come to him. Which is something more like an upperclassman would do. 6'8", 220, a freshman out of Vegas. Free throw on the way, no good. Saxon with the tip in, and a double-double for Mitchell Saxon. Aggies mistimed that bounce, and Mitchell made them pay with that brilliant right-handed tap. 10 points, 11 boards, and a well-deserved rest. Harry Wessels checks back in. Fourth Gale into double figures. Eight of the 10 Gales who have been on the floor tonight have scored. Pinson inside, got Jefferson in the air, can't convert. Here comes Barrett. Marshallonis, Gales will circle it back out. You've got Mahaney, Marshallonis, Barrett, Jefferson, and Wessels. All about executing in the half court. Building for conference. Nice pass. Wessels can't finish. You get the feeling with Wessels, you know, once the game slows down a little bit for him, that's going to be automatic. Washington mid-range doesn't go. Mohamed puts it back in. Yeah, Harry does rush on occasion instead of just using his skills and trusting what he can do out there. Bad pass by Marshallonis. Washington with the interception. Chris Howell waits the scorer's table. Along with Kwaye Gordon. Avery with the drive and one. The foul on Wessels. 4-0-1 to play. That's just the way you play it against a shot blocker. Go right into the body and taking it into the chest of Harry. Very well done. Here comes Chris Howell. And he will check in. Marshall Lonis will, it'll be Jefferson coming off. Avery will try and complete the three point play. 23 games for the Aggies last year. One of just three returners. 16 newcomers on this roster. Gales break the press. 
inside of four minutes to play. St. Mary's leads by 19. Marshall Onis, a little change of pace. Tough shot in traffic. Wessels, put back doesn't go. Luke Barrett cleans it up. Symbolic of the entire night, just owning the boards. Hey, this is the Gales first time over 70 since they beat Vanderbilt 75-65. Muhammad turnaround. Or pardon me, that's uh, Washington. Nothing happening against that press until now. Turnover, 11th on St. Mary's. Avery steps back open for three, got it. And going right back into it, trying to turn them over. 71-55. It's a young group on the floor right now for St. Mary's. Three freshmen and two sophomores. Marshallonis is fouled. And Augustus will get to the line, 250 to play when we come back. Gale's in control, final 250 here in Moraga. St. Mary's, they have led by as many as 26 tonight. And Marshall Onis to the line with a chance to add on to a 16-point lead. St. Mary's 71, New Mexico State 55, 250 to go. You're listening to Gales Basketball from Learfield. Show your school spirit and earn rewards as the official credit union of St. Mary's College, University Credit Union offers a custom-designed rewards credit card for the Gale family. Enjoy no annual fee while earning unlimited points, making the UCU St. Mary's credit card the perfect card to use for everyday use. Plus, when you open a UCU checking account, you'll show even more Gale pride with the St. Mary's College debit card. Visit ucu.org to learn more and apply today. Federally insured by NCUA. Fourth Moore Tap Room and Grill in Orendo's Theater Square is now your official away game watch party location for St. Mary's Athletics. Enjoy apps, salads, burgers, or one of their signature handcrafted wood-fired pizzas on the patio with the giant fire pit. Plus, they offer discounts for all St. Mary's students, coaches, faculty, and alumni. Catch every game on one of their 10 big screen TVs or enjoy live music Thursday through Saturday evenings from 6.30 to 10.30. You can even have them cater your next event. For more information, visit thefourthboard.com or call 925-254-1183. Go Gales! Bay Alarm is proud to sponsor the St. Mary's Gales. How good is your defense? When it comes to protecting your home or business, Bay Alarm has been bringing the best for over 75 years. With security camera and fire alarm systems designed to fit your specific needs, expertly installed and professionally monitored 24-7. Ready to up your security game? Go to BayAlarm.com and let our team of security experts get you protected today. Go Gales! This is Logan Johnson, and you're listening to St. Mary's Basketball. St. Mary's 71, New Mexico State 55. Welcome back to Moraga with Dave Lewis. I'm Alex Jensen. Marshall Lonis to the line for a one and one. Rims in the first. Dave, the Gales have shot a lot of threes. In fact, a season high 30 tonight. But they have been accurate. 13 made threes, also a season high. Marshall Lonis gets both free throws to go. And most of those threes in rhythm. All open shots out of making the extra pass. Washington guarded by Barrett. Pulls it back, takes a three. No good, but a foul is called on Luke Barrett. And, and crowding DeShondre Washington a little bit on the landing area. So 2.38 to play in Washington. We'll have three free throws here with the Gales leading by 18. This pace was St. Mary's half court basically the entire game, but you still have a chance to get 80 or so, which is remarkable in terms of how they executed in the half court and then opportunistic with the transition game. Washington, well, just two of seven in the second half, went four of seven in half number one. It's his first free throw. This guy is going to be a load in whack play. I mean, six, seven, good range. He's really good off the dribble, Dave, and getting to his spots. The sixth-ranked junior college player in the country last year. He can make plays as well. I mean, he's averaging five and a half assists per game. It's two of three free throws. 73 to 57, the St. Mary's lead. The Aggies stuck on just one assist tonight. Howell may have been fouled there. Good hustle by Wessels to keep it alive. Howell blocked at the rim by Avery. 
Bradley in the open floor. Washington drags Wessels out to the corner. Now Bradley. 2-10 to play. Avery knocked away by Barrett, recovers, 10 to shoot. It's good defensive possession by the Gales. They have Wessels 30 feet from the basket, foul on the drive. Marshallonis reaches in. This will put New Mexico State at the line for a one and one with two minutes to play. That defensive possession was one of many for St. Mary's like that, forcing the Aggies to try to make something happen in the final five seconds of the shot clock. Mahaney will come off, Jefferson back in. Dr. Bradley has a one and one here. Big year at Salt Lake Community College a year ago. He lost to Greg Heyer and Northwest Florida State in the Division I national title game. Greg Heyer said, I need that guy. Gets the first free throw. Started his career at Cal State Fullerton. 13 games in the 2021 season. Second free throw, good. Alex, you mentioned the one assist that the Aggies have. The low for a St. Mary's opponent, Hofstra with two. Inside of two minutes to play. And a foul called on New Mexico State. Luke Barrett will go to the line, and the Gales down the double bonus with 150 to play. And Barrett will have two. Foul coming on Washington, his fourth. Well, again, the Gales in Colorado State on Sunday. As the Gales get another crack at the Mountain West. Mountain West is having a great preseason. I mean, you look at UNLV, you look at New Mexico, both unbeaten teams. San Diego State obviously off to a good start. Saw New Mexico firsthand what they could bring to the table in this gym. A very good basketball team. San Jose State has improved. Tim Miles doing a nice job in the South Bay. Avery probing. Muhammad open. Way off. And a foul in the rebound. It's going to be a double foul. It looks like Marshallonis and Quaye Gordon. So New Mexico State will keep it. You, you start to rack up wins against the Mountain West, and the Gales will have an opportunity to go two and one on Sunday against the Mountain West. I mean, you're talking about you know a league that's really going to some wins in that league are going to carry some weight. Utah State's another team that's off to a great start. Avery on Jefferson. Met by Wessels. Foul as Wessels leaves his feet. When you schedule like St. Mary's did this year, you expect a hiccup or two. So that three-game losing skid, just a bump on the road, and apparently have righted the ship. You, you look at the, the net rankings right now. Mountain West is a conference number five. That's ahead of the ACC and the Pac-12. And how about the WCC at number eight? Number eight, yeah. WCC has two teams in the top 20 in the net rankings. Avery splits the free throws. The Mountain West, you're looking at Utah State at 12. I mean, you're looking at six top 50 teams. Nevada, San Diego State, Boise State was also off to a good start. Utah State, UNLV, New Mexico. Colorado State, who will be here on, on Sunday, is at 104. Marshallonis was fouled. He'll have two shots here. Get your tickets, smcgales.com. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this will be a, an opportunity for the Gales to uh, exact a little payback on the Rams. Of course, lost in Fort Collins last year on the back end of a Two-game road trip through Logan and Fort Collins. Beat the Aggies, Utah State, in Logan, which not many teams were able to do. Lost to Colorado State, who, of course, went to the NCAA tournament. They had a first-round pick in David Roddy in the NBA draft. Gordon fouled by Marshallonis. Now 
that Roddy was a very good college player. Thick, tough, smart. You mentioned the, the WCC, Dave, and right now the West Coast Conference is ahead of both the American Athletic Conference and Conference USA, as well as the A-10, who's having a tough year so far. Gordon hits his first free throw. St. Mary's, Gonzaga, again, both in the top 21. LMU is a top 100 team right now. And the Lions, they, they've got some quality wins at seven and four. Gordon gets both free throws. The Gale lead is uh, 15 with 119 to go. LMU's beaten Georgetown, Wake Forest. Bellarmine has some quality wins. Nevada, Grand Canyon on the road. Also beat UC Davis with the Aggies having a nice year. One minute to play. Marshallonis off balance, finds Wessels. That great footwork, 360 spin and a finish. Gordon and one. Alex about New Mexico State never caught any negative body language when the spread got to be 20 points over the last seven eight minutes and the game may have gotten out of hand these guys are competing they've been through a lot off the court as well I mean this has been a lot uh, going on with this team this season and uh, for them to play like this five new starters a lot of adversity they'll be a factor no doubt about it once conference play rolls around yeah there's no question no question. I, I think, you know, Grand Canyon's got a, a good club. Of course, Seattle, uh, despite losing Darion Trammell, they won the WAC a year ago, or tied for the WAC lead as Gordon misses the free throw. Now some full court pressure. In fact, you know, going back to the WAC, or the net rankings as the Gales turn it over. Washington to the rim, oh man! And a blocking foul to boot on Chris Howell. Washington with a hammer. He'll go to the line to try and make this a three-point play with 38.8 to go. That was impressive. Howell smiling once he got off the court. He knew that by the end of the night, he could be a meme or a poster. Can't complete the three-point play. Jefferson with the rebound. 79-66 the St. Mary's lead. They break the press this time. There's about a seven-second differential between the two clocks as Marshall Lonis is trapped near the timeline. Howell. Good pass to the near corner. Barrett didn't want to take the three. Marshall Lonis to Jefferson. Jefferson with the jam. Gale's first time this year over 80 points. Playing basically a half court game. That's how good they've been tonight. Washington with the clock winding down. Tough shot high off the window. He gets to drop. 80 points, nothing resembling a track meet. Just solid basketball, making shots, defending, rebounding. Check, 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 take care of the ball, get a win. And three consecutive now for the Gales, who improved to nine and three. 31 and two at home in the non-conference since the start of 2019. Four in double figures. Bowen with a career high 16. Mahaney with 14. Dukas with a dozen all in the first half. Saxon with his second double-double. Gales shot 50% from the field, Dave. 13 threes. Really, you take kind of the garbage timeout for New Mexico State. Their shooting percentage was closer to 35% then 39, a complete effort for the Gales tonight. You get Mickey McConnell's case of the game, which a lot of times are similar, you know, game to game. You, you do the right things, and they just, they did the right things. They, they took care of the basketball, made shots. Sometimes you can't always account for that. Sometimes it's gonna be a make or miss night, but they made threes, it opens up on the inside. A lot of things for them. They, they guarded the heck out of those guys, cleaned the boards, limited them to one shot. Basically no assist the entire night. Complete effort for St. Mary's. One assist. One New Mexico State assist. Uh, that dunk. is mind-blowing. Yeah, one lob dunk, and that's uh, low for a Gale opponent this year. Previous low, two by Hofstra. So a complete effort for St. Mary's tonight as they take down New Mexico State 81 to 68. Four Gales in double figures, 49% again for the game. St. Mary's is now nine and three, Dave. Seven and one at home. Don't think Randy Bennett's gonna 
in all likelihood reach 500 wins this year. That is win number 489 uh, for Randy Bennett in his career and 22, uh, 21 plus seasons here at St. Mary's. But, you know, for the Gales after the hiccup, the three straight losses, uh, really a chance to end non-conference play on a very high note. Of course, two games left to go against two Mountain West opponents, one here, uh, one in Phoenix. But uh, St. Mary's, has, it, it seems they have rediscovered their swagger again. And maybe have figured out the rotation of the team right now in terms of what they're going to do moving forward, get to the seven or eight guys that you trust. Jefferson, I think, has worked himself into the mix. Joshua Jefferson did, in fact, play well tonight. Four points, two of three shooting. You know, nine minutes and uh, plenty to break down in this one as the Gales improve to nine and three win their third consecutive game. If you're watching us on the WCC Network, you want to listen to our post-game show, you can uh, switch on over to the Varsity Network. That's an app you can download on your phone. Dave and I will break this one down. We'll have Mickey, our player of the game. All of that is coming up next on the Varsity Network as our post-game show starts next on the Varsity Network. So again, if you're watching us, download the Varsity Network, search St. Mary's. You can listen to our post-game show right there as the Gales defeat New Mexico State uh, 81 to 68 the final St. Mary's third consecutive win they are nine and three and we'll roll things on on uh, on Sunday Dave and for the audience we've been saving the good stuff for that radio part <laughs> yes. of the post game so we just you know kind of sandbagging really breaking it down giving you entertainment and insight coming up on the radio version of the post game show that would be best served to get there right now so you don't miss anything. That is a great tease, Dave Lewis. So download the Varsity Network, search St. Mary's. Our post-game show starts there next. St. Mary's 81, New Mexico State 68. The Gales are 9-3. And, and our post-game show is right on the other side of this break. You're listening to St.